Hello, my name is Yang Gun. I'm from Chungbu University. For this study, I want to talk about uh, a study on the current status of educational support for students with low vision and improvement plan. In this study, we try to find an effective educational support plan for students with low vision by examining the educational support status and educational needs for students with low vision who are arranged by school level and school course. The specific purpose of this study are as follows. First, what about the current status of educational support and the needs for educational support in terms of creating a physical environment for the effective education of students with low vision? Second, what is the current status of educational support and the needs for educational support in terms of school life support for students with low vision? I want to talk about participant. Table show the participant show the current status of teacher who participate in this uh, in this survey to find out the needs for education support for students with low vision student. We did not include the table in this uh, presentation. Now uh, you can see the paper. A total of 262 teachers participate in the survey. By genders, 74 were male, 188 were female. The final educational background was 187 bachelor, 69 master, and 6 doctor student. By qualification types, 160 four teachers is in special schools, 67 teachers in general school, 31 teachers holding the fourth certification, and by working organization, two, 23 nationals, 197 public school, 42 private schools. By school levels, there were 42 students in schools for visually impaired. Six, uh, 73 student, student in general schools, 147 students in special classes in general schools, and 126 is working for a student Uh, 126 teachers work for student attend the secondary schools. In particular, the number of teachers with less than five years of teaching experience for students with low vision was 229, compared to 32 of teachers with more than five years of teaching experience for students with low vision. I want to talk about survey questionnaire. The questionnaire used in this study were developed through literature analysis, expert review, preliminary research, and researcher counsel on previous studies. The detailed development process for the questionnaire item is as follows. First, domestic and foreign related prior studies on the status of education support for low vision students. Demands for educational support and educational support measures were analyzed to develop the first preliminary questions. Second, the validity of the contents of the first preliminary questions developed was verified with blind education support. Third, based on the preliminary questions that verified the validity of the contents, 
from June 1 to 15, 2020. 10 special teachers Two teachers from special schools for the visually impaired. Two teachers from the special education support center for the visually impaired at the base. Two special education support centers. Preliminary survey was conducted for the student. Two teachers in the special class and two teachers in special schools to examine their validity. First, force for the Readability of the questionnaire questions. One Korean language education uh, expert reviewed the grammar. Lastly, the researchers council reviewed the contents derived from the expert reviews, preliminary research, and synopsis. Revised and supplemented the contents of the questionnaires to complete the final questionnaires. The contents of the questionnaire developed through the above process are as the follow as follows figures. It is the recessions. There are three categories demographic information, creating physical environment, supporting school. To collect the questionnaire data, an online survey was conducted for a total of three weeks from June 10th, 2020 to July 31, 2020 through the survey service system on the website of the National Institute of Special Education. The online survey was conducted through the following process. In order to increase the research response rate of the survey, an additional survey was conducted for two weeks from August 2000 to 21st, 2020 to 2nd fix 2020 using the online survey system as in the main survey. I want to talk about the result of this study. First part is creating a physical environment. I want to talk about writing support for students with low vision. This table shows the result of write, writing, writing support to provide for low vision students, as shown in the table. Provide on a for a brightness level of classroom writing was the highest at 70. Uh, 37.4 there is no special support with 36.2 percent and the brightness level of the bathroom writing was at a brightness level similar to that of classroom was found at 9.9 percent based on this research it was found that most of the school did not support using the full writing support method. Classroom write uh, such as classroom brightness management, bathroom brightness management, stair brightness management, and personal stand. By school levels, the highest number of number was that special school provide additive classroom writing levels 41.7 percent while general school had no special support 42.5 percent by curriculum kindergarten and elementary school provide the highest level of brightness of classroom writing point uh, four forty one point one percent and secondary school had no special support 38 Next, I want to talk about actual seating arrangement for students with low vision. This table shows the result of examining 
the actual setting arrangement for steam rate provision to use the remaining time efficiently. As shown in the table, place the seat near the blackboard was the highest at 41.7%. Place the seat on the left or right or in the center of the classroom considering the student view at 23% and place the seat where it is possible to reduce the number of glare was 15.6% by school levels in both school special in both special school and general schools the highest number of seat was placed in the front seat close to the blackboard in consideration of the student eyesight by school course in both kindergarten and elementary schools and secondary schools the highest number of seats was placed in the front seat close to blackboard in consideration of the student visual acuity Next, I want to talk about supporting school life. First, I want to talk about examining the degree of adaptation to school life of students with low vision. <coughs> this table shows the result of examining the degree of adaptation to school life of low vision student. As shown, as shown in table, Student interview was the highest at 27.1%, parents interview 26%, student life observation 23.8%, cooperation with other student teachers in the school 15.9%. 15, 15 By school levels, observation of school life was the highest in the special schools and parents interview and student interview was highest in general schools. By school curriculum, parental interview was highest in the kindergarten and elementary schools, and student interview was the highest in secondary schools. Next, I want to talk about how teacher apply to help low vision student just to scribe. The result of how teacher apply to help low vision student adjust to, to scribe are as follows. As shown in the table, regular student and parents counseling was the highest at 40.9%. Training to understand the visual impairment in class was 22.7%, and supporting peer relationship through so peer helper in the class 20.2%. By school level, regular and student and parents counseling was highest in the both special schools and general schools. By school curriculum, Regular student and parent counseling was highest in both kindergarten and elementary schools and secondary schools. I want to summarize for this study. In this study, we Includes a lot of contents, but I want to. We want just. Uh, we wanted to talk about uh, key result. We want to uh, show a lot of data, a lot of information for, uh, through the paper. First, 
the physical environment to increase the independence and safety of the Robinson student in school life include lightning brightness, contrast enhancement, anti glare, height adjustment desk, reading desk support, seating arrangement in consideration of visual characteristic, and support for expanding posts and sign in schools. In order for Robinson students to use their site comfortably in school life, it is necessary to create a physical environment suitable for the student residual visual and visual function characteristic. According to two previous domestic studies, Robinson students were enrolled in schools in general. It was found that all schools recognized that the creation of the physical environment and support for low vision students were generally insufficient. As such, because of the lack of physical environment support for low vision students, low vision students have difficulty in comfortably accessing the school environment and actively participating in learning activity. In foreign countries, For creating physical environment to have been specifically developed and applied so that low vision students can comfortably utilize their remaining time in their life activity. In accordance with their guidelines, educational institutes for the visually impaired can maintain adequate writing and reading scale so that low vision students can use their remaining vision efficiently and comfortably. In a high contrast environment, use large character sign, height adjustable task, and reading tables. Use of a matte blackboard. In accordance with the guidelines, information such as seat arrangement adjustment, considering visual characteristic, is supported by a poor low vision student. As a result, the low vision student can participate meaningfully in learning activity in an optimal educational environment and can more efficiently orient themselves for working. Therefore, in Korea, it is necessary to improve the physical environment for Robinson students and support them so that they can make the most of the remaining time according to the visual characteristic of the student. Combining the above of result suggests the poor Improving, improving the education, education for low vision students on the physical environment creation are as follows. First, it is necessary to develop and disseminate the guideline for creating optimal educational environment for low vision students. Second, a physical environment suitable for individual visual characteristics should be supported so that low vision students can use their remaining time efficient in their learning activity. Third, administrative and financial support from the educational authority is needed to create a city environment in school so that low vision students can do school life and learning activity more efficiently. Second, the result of a survey on the status of support for low vision students to, to adapt to school life First, teachers in charge of the uh, education of low vision students are as follows. Teachers recognize that most low vision students have difficulty adjusting to school life. The reason for their having difficulty in fear relationship was barriers such as lack of confidence due to disability, lack of social skills, lack of opportunity to participate in peer cultural activity. Two, the low vision students Request for support for adaptation to school life were found in their following orders. Counseling with the student and parents, education on understanding the visually impaired in classroom, support for peer relationships through peer helper, depending, depending on the school level, low vision students in general schools showed the relative difficulty in adjusting to school life, but the demand for support for adaptation to school life show a similar pattern between special schools and general schools. Four, according to school curriculum, low vision students in secondary schools showed 
relatively difficult in adjusting to school life, and it quested for support for school life adaptation. So, similar pattern between kindergarten elementary school and secondary schools. The point for improvement based on the result of the adaptation to school life above as follow. First, it is necessary to develop a dissemination, disseminate edit, uh, evaluation tool that can more ob objectively evaluate the degree of adaptation to school life of revision students in general schools. Second, it is necessary to develop and support educational programs such as in interpersonal skills and self competence necessary for revision students in general schools to form friendship with students with a clear vision. Uh, general vision. Third, teachers' training should be conducted to systemically intertwine and support the vision students who have difficulty adjusting to school life. Fourth, students who have great difficulty in adjusting to school life due to their visual impairment should receive counseling and intervention by professional psychological counselor. Thank you. It is a reference.